at the place where pride began, you could say pride is now reborn with the colors of the rainbow flag brighter than ever. For the first time in probably a year and a half, New York's gonna scream out and say we're back again. And I think you're gonna see people just crowded into streets, hopefully just shooting rainbow glitter everywhere. With restrictions lifted in New York, it's nice to be able to have that space again. The historic Stonewall Inn is welcoming back patrons just in time for Pride. What do you think it's going to look like here? Oh, it's going to be packed to people. Owners Stacy Lentz and Kurt Kelly know it's not just a party. Pride commemorates what happened at Stonewall in 1969 when the LGBTQ community fought back during a police raid. Then and now, bars have been vital. I feel wonderful being around like thousands of people that are free to, to, to be themselves. During the pandemic, many gay bars had to close, some permanently. And when you don't have a place to go, when we're all quarantined, how lonely is that? I think for LGBTQ bars, the pandemic was even worse. Even before the pandemic, many of these places were struggling as more LGBTQ people connected through apps and found greater acceptance beyond gay establishments. Things have been especially tough for lesbian bars. Only 21 remain nationwide. One, women make, you know, less money than men. Two women together make far less money than two men together. Actress Leah Delaria, who starred in Orange is the New Black. Okay, look. Nobody is talking about conceding my hard-earned position as Lord of the Lesbians. Is now part of the Lesbian Bar Project, which is raising awareness and money to make sure no more places are lost. Uh, it's important because we don't, these kids today, they don't know what it's like to have, this is your only community. I know that in that bar is where I find my community and my camaraderie. We met Delaria at one of those 21 watering holes, New York City's Cubby Hole. At a little more than 500 square feet, it's too small to do much social distancing, so they focused on outdoor service. It really looks like we're getting back to normal, which is nice. I can, like, breathe again a little bit. What's your hope for moving forward here? People will be back in the cubby hole, and there'll be, you know, a couple falling in love in that corner and breaking up in the other corner and, you know, dancing over there. She hopes pride provides a boost. Last year's celebrations were largely virtual, except for the marches focused on racial justice following the death of George Floyd. This year, festivities will vary from city to city. Tampa already had an in-person pride parade, while New York is planning a virtual one. San Francisco is skipping its parade altogether, instead holding a couple outdoor movie nights at a big league ballpark. We had to make a plan. We had to come up with something quick that we knew would be safe. From the city by the bay to one on Cape Cod, gay-friendly Provincetown, Massachusetts, is pushing forward with this weekend's Pride celebration. Hello today, it's Miss Richfield, 1981, and I'm in P-Town on the tip of Cape Cod, and look what I found! One of P-Town's most beloved performers, Miss Richfield, 1981, just returned to the stage here. What are you looking forward to most this Pride? Getting together with people, that's the number one thing. That's what Pride's about. Pride's about this, you know? Pride's about this, it's about love. Love and inclusion, symbolized by the rainbow Miss Richfield wears and bakes. And you wanna know, it looks fabulous, but you know what, it's really, mmm, oh, so good. The rainbow tastes as good as it looks. Look at the cats, and look at, even the cat likes the rainbow. Isn't that nice? Everyone loves the rainbow, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves the rainbow. Now, it is important to remember in some parts of the country, progress has been slow and you, and you won't find many bars or safe spaces to celebrate pride and be yourself. So the Stonewall Gives Back Initiative has created a program to try and find and support those places. In fact, tonight they're having a virtual concert to raise money for some of those places. That was great. Wow. So good. Yeah. I should also mention, um, if you go to today.com slash pride, there is a whole wealth of stories. You know, we have a digital team that is busy and talented. So there is a wealth of stories. Stories you won't see on the air, the the original content. So if you want to find more um, in stories like this, you can go Mm -hmm. to today.com slash pride. It's so great. Amazing profiles and amazing people. Yes, yes. Well, thanks Thanks for bringing that to us, Thank you. 
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.